All right, welcome back. This is Art with Black Lodge Trivia Night. We're taking a look at Dragon's Dogma 2. We're not going to be taking a look. We're going to be playing through the whole stupid thing because I love this game. Or at least I love the predecessor, and I think I'm going to love this game. Last time, you know, we made a character. We did some of the opening stuff, did some of the tutorials, got to not the main city, but to this burnt out town where we learned how I became an Arisen. I was protecting someone here fighting off a dragon, uh, not very effectively. Obviously, you can see from the wreckage that I really had no impact whatsoever. Uh, but that's when I became the Arisen. But at the same time, I think I might have been helping this woman here. Maybe not. She might just be another pawn I can hire. At the same time, there's an Arisen being crowned king in the main city. So I'm going to take a look at our quests and uh, see what's going on. We got a quest in uh, Seat of the Sovereign. I think they're both going to sort of take us to the same place. We have to enter Vernworth. Uh, this one is go to the village entrance and speak with them. So we're going to do that now, and I think it's going to end up taking us to Vernworth. Um, as I was saying last time, uh, I'm really enamored with this game so far. Uh, it's keeping enough of the old stuff that I really like and uh, seems to put a little bit more polish on everything else. I don't know how visible it's going to be. I wanted it to be subtle, but... I have the frame rate counter going on in the upper left hand corner just because this game is currently notorious for frame rate dips and I was just kind of curious what it was going to do on my system. I basically have most things maxed out. Maxed out. I think I have like, yeah, I have a lot of things maxed out so we'll see how Make it goes. Haste, then. We must leave anon. Let's see. Good. Then let us be on our way. All right. Oh, it's getting to be towards night. I probably should have <laughs> done something but about speaking that. Speaking of which, look how many women we count among our number. And yet no two of us are the same. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit. Nice. All right. That yeah, this well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph. I haven't figured out why I can't do exploding shot yet. And then I also have to figure out left trigger. I need to figure out how to light my lantern. There's a shortcut for it that I'm not remembering. Oh, there we go. Left button and then I can use the D-pad. Interestingly, that's not where I was pointing at all. Time is an ever-flowing river in this world, and the activities and behaviors of its inhabitants reflect this. People are unlikely to remain in the same place all day long, and may appear only in the morning, at night, or at midday. To pass the time, you can either stay at an inn, or make use of one of the special seats found outdoors in set locations. Okay. Come nightfall, you'll be able to see no further than the ground at your feet, and the onset of darkness summons fearsome monsters not seen by day. Explore the wilderness after sunset at your own peril. And be sure you have a lantern in your pack. Okay, now they're also explaining, okay, food does rot. Some items that can be gathered will change over time, such as by ripening or growing more flavorful. There are also items that, if allowed to age just long enough, will become more useful when combining materials. However, should you keep, uh, you should keep a close eye on these raw items in particular, as consuming anything that has been aged past its prime is likely to have unpleasant side effects. Which all makes sense. Okay. Certain objects and structures that can be destroyed by your attacks will regenerate after a certain amount of time. Okay. Similarly, fruits, berries, and other gatherable flora will grow back after a time. So... Not... So I'm... I don't know what I'm... I'm getting a little wonky with the uh, aiming here, I'll say that. 
useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Like, I feel like where I'm pointing, and then all of a sudden I'm shooting wide left or something, sort of auto-tracking enemies that I'm not really... Oh, look at that. Obviously, so there is still some pop-in. There was pop-in in the first one. I never... I'm willing to give uh, this game a wide berth. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not. I feel like I need an item. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. I feel like I need some kind of item for the exploding shot, but I just can't figure out what it is. Come to think of it, some masters rearranged their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Each to their own. Halt! State your business. We've orders to keep this gate sealed till the watchhead returns. Uh, let me check the map really quickly. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Okay, so we're going to go there. Hopefully this is the right way. I, I really don't know. Melv, Ancestral Chamber. Okay. I guess I'll... Tr I mean, unless... Ooh, ooh. So looking here at the main map, maybe the city is all the way down to the south. That's... That's a bit of a haul. I wonder if they're going to Elden Ring it where, like, all of a sudden we pull back and there's more or if this is going to be the entirety of the playing world. All right. Well, let's... uh. Yeah. <laughs> How do we open it? It's like a destroyed bridge here. That might be where we came from. We've just sort of done a giant loop. Is that sort of the Materials whole thing? Such as this can be combined to craft things. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Am I missing something? Because the guy I'm supposed to be traveling with is gone. Halt. State your business. Okay, so they got we orders to keep this gate sealed until the watchhead returns. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. While th in another world, hmm. I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. I thought the first time well, I approached the gate, it gave me a different prompt. Now I'm not seeing it, though. I could look upon this sky for all eternity. If it wasn't for the crick in my neck. Keep gazing upward and you'll like to stumble there long. Yeah, maybe that's the trick. Maybe it's because I'm here at night and I should have been going about this at during daylight hours. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Alright, still, so, again, I'm not sure how obvious it's going to be, but, um... I've got a good feeling about... I grant you fire's blaze. Oh, yeah, look at this. Go for it. Well fought, 
Arisen. I dare say, the Arisen could have defeated this lot without us. A resounding success. Can I just throw a rock? I mean, I... <laughs> Obviously, I can. I was wondering if I could hit anything with it. I shan't let them harm you. Like, if I need, like, a fire arrow to do an exploding shot, then... Don't know if I'll. This obstacle shan't get the better of us. Nice. There must be a way to remove it. If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. Might I be of assistance? Vocation rank up for Dale Cooper. Nice. Now is this a ladder down? Diane's now level 7. I like where this is going. If you watch any of my first playthrough of Dragon's Dogma, there were certain sessions where I just said, I'm gonna go take a walk. I'm just gonna explore the land. I'm not gonna not gonna focus on a quest, I'm just gonna uncover the map. And I so desperately want to do that here. So I'm headed back here just because I think there's an inn. Although I could also just keep exploring because I seem to be in decent shape when it comes to handling. And here I was hoping for some great treasure. Oh, now I feel a fool. The stuff around here. I cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. So yeah, so most of my uh, frame rates so far have been in the 90s. Right now, it just got down to 77. Anything above 60 for me, I'm okay with. I'm not... Um, I, I like having the graphics turned up. I like them looking pretty. But I don't know if I need, personally, 120 frames per second. I'm so used to playing games at 60 that I'm, I'm fine with that. I feel like I've covered this ground already.
I would fain aid you if you are in need. Imagine this is going to be a pawn, maybe? You're staring, Arisen. Has aught yonder caught your eye? So they mentioned in the first one, and they mentioned again here the idea that, like, we're all, my party's all women. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Give me shit now for collecting. Um. And again, I, I forget. There's certain monsters in the first game that would get, uh. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Not sure what the right word is. They get frenzied by the presence of women and sort of attack them first. I don't know if it was uh, ogres or there's some specific enemy and I can't remember if they had a name or not. And uh, let's see. So maybe that will... Whoops, nope. All right, just making these drafts just to use up the owls, uh, owls, the apples, and and the green wash. I don't know if the green wash expires, but uh, just to make sure we use it. Make sure we get some healing potions going. I don't know if I in the first game, my most recent playthrough. I don't know if I crafted much of anything because I don't <laughs> I just never paid attention to how it might have been done so basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut through this fort here and then I feel like this maybe night is starting to pass I don't know Hopefully we can cut through the water. Can take us to new yeah, you know, somebody else mentioned that before. Where is this ladder? Is it to get up to that tower? I think the running uphill slower is going to get really tedious. I think it's a uh, attention to like, sort of like fidelity that's not that important. In search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ere long. I hasten home, but it's not my duty. Okay. So, okay, so here in the village, we've gone from... A lot of 80s, 90s in the wilderness, down to the 70s, That's 63 when I'm looking at this wall, 64, okay. How we might reach it? Get out of the village and let's see, 61, 63, 62, 59, 58, okay, so we're dipping below 60. Such a magnificent tapestry of stars. It is no great shock to me. Yeah, let's see if we can cut back across this river. I'm seeing an exclamation point. Ooh, I can't wait to find out what's inside. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. 
Uh, I'm okay right now, Jackie. Thank you. Let's keep exploring, I guess, as long as it's still nightfall. Tis a magnificent view. The landscape seems to unfold in all directions, revealing its secret to the patient observer. Kind of curious. Um, so if I sort of point myself the way this looks. I wonder if it would reveal something over in that direction or is it just that you can see the town? Skeletons. Where the skeletons? Ice attacks can only be advantage. We'll have to try something out. Oop, I'm trying to kick. <laughs> Stop trying to spin kick, just kick him. There you go. Not having a dodge is a big deal. I was used to having the rolling dodge in the first one. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be bad. All right. That's interesting. It's kind of a uh... so soon. Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. So you really are committing to a bow at this stage of the game. You know, there isn't really like in again in the first one. I feel like there was always some attacks I could pull off in a pinch. Nope. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this one. There really isn't much recourse. If you if you're caught in a melee attack at the moment, I don't have much to do to get away from them. Wait, 
stone shards are treasures to be prized. Though only when made whole. Ah, so here's the first situation where if I were smaller, lest we lose it. I could get through. <laughs> All right, let's uh Let's get back to the task at hand if I can remember how to get there. Yon chest is in a place not easily accessed. We must find a way over to it. It would be torture to leave it unclaimed. Okay. Nice, another Seeker's token, very nice. Made it to the chest. A ring of cooling. Uh, exaltation slightly boosts maximum health. Ring of cooling uh, reduces damage taken from fire attacks. I'm gonna go with the maximum health. I'm gonna equip in the right hand. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. You know, it's interesting. I just, um, again, I don't know when in relation everything goes up. But I just got done recording a bunch of uh, the One Ring 2nd Edition Strider mode. And, you know, a big part of that game is the journey. And it's kind of giving me those here vibes here. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An Arisen, by all appearances. An Arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I will make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All right, so we got this to sort of reset as we needed. All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. Master, t'would be prudent to rid yourself of any excess items. Again, I feel like you're commenting on my weight, so let me see how I'm doing. I am heavy. Diane's heavy. I don't know if I can combine this with anything. Let me see if it just sort of tells me. Combine... Okay, this can make the same salubrious draft. I guess basically any fruit. OK, 
Okay, two syrup wart leaf creates a quenching syrup, which a medicine for uh, cooling and fire quelling element elements used to cure the caught fire and torched debilitations. But if I combine it with fruit, it ends up making another salubrious draft. Eh. I'll make a quenching syrup. So it seems like it sort of gives you an idea like, yeah, give these items a try. Maybe you can't do anything else with them, but how are we doing on weights? Diane's down to average. Now she has a blinking far. I don't know if that means she's gotten separated from us or just generally too far away. Where is she? I'll gladly lessen your burden. Okay. Yeah. She got separated a little bit. I remember, I think the first one they sort of gave you an ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight, or it may have befallen it. Best we press on. I imagine, I guess the first one sort of lined you up with a bunch of quests right off the bat. I'm trying to, I was kind of curious, like, when are they just gonna let us turn us loose a little bit? Knowing that there's more timers involved in this. Well, no, I mean, there were in the first one, too. You just weren't aware of them. Here, it sounds like they're going to make you a little more aware of it, and I just want to make sure I don't miss anything because I'm getting distracted. Ah, a material. Useful things, these. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. A cool touch would be if your pawn's could see somebody else mixing and matching something so that you would have those recipes if you were like, hey, no, 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 you know, I some of the knowledge I brought back was, um, oh, forgotten rift stones, okay. Forgotten rift stones can be found in various locations throughout the world, and when you touch one, one of two events will occur. The rift stone will be restored. You'll be able to use the restored rift stone to summon unique pawns of a different nature. Or two, a high-level pawn will be summoned. A single high-level pawn will be summoned, after which the rift stone will disappear. You'll be able to hire this pawn without paying any rift crystals. Yeah, let's see what happens. That's new. That, that wasn't in the first one. Rift stone of the kind-hearted. So this looks like a general... Just gonna lay it out. I don't know what level I am. <laughs> um, I am level seven. I've got level two and a level seven pawn. So Ace, I think, unfortunately, needs to be replaced. A level two is not gonna cut it. So let's see if we can find a. Looking for a thief, maybe. No, let's not leave the rift. Why am I getting so many level two? Let's see if it's like the original where you could sort of search and summon and stuff like that. Uh, so let's see if we can find... There's not many thieves. It's interesting. Yeah, a lot of like low level fighters. Oh well, you know, I might as well keep keep ace then if I'm not gonna be able to. Campsite. Seems like some of the campsites they put camping material next to it just so you can take advantage. At least a couple that I've walked by, they've both had uh So 
So yeah, so like I was saying, the One Ring, you know, has you know s part of the the process, part of the adventure is the journey, and um, that's something this game has always done. Here we go. This series. Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened. Okay, so now we're back into the 90s for frame rates. Ooh, I can't wait to find out what's inside. Goblins, master. Leave it to me. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna have to get used to me the, with me being easily distracted as I run around here. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. What's going on up there, Diane? You alright? Nope. <laughs> I grant you fire's blades. Use it well. So we got one there, we got one perched on the rock cropping. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. Another level up. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. I knew you would prevail, Master. Unlike that, we've done this, 
but that guy looks a little rough. Nice, there we go. Wonder if that was Diane or one of the traveling party. I feel like she has that capacity, that skill. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. I'm gonna get that chest, but I'm not sure if I can. Meanwhile, the guys like, can we just can we just go? Like, <laughs> I just have one job. And that's to babysit you to the capital. Look, Buster, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. All right, we're we can keep going, sir. Man, so. <laughs> so good looking. Campsite if we needed it, I guess. This one does not have a uh, pack. Okay, so maybe it's just we've passed by one or two in the starting area that they're happy to sort of help you get get on your feet. I know we had that Medusa fight in the beginning, but I feel like that was just like a staged tease. This feels like this might be our first real. Oh. I think he threw his club. I think that's what I was going whoa about. Let's see if I can hit him with a sweep shot. Nope, don't need to front kick him. Grabbing larger foes in battle. You can grab a foe while they're while standing by making contact and pressing right trigger. This is, of course, the classic climb up and stab their eye. Once you have a hold of your enemy, you can push or pull them to draw their focus or knock them off balance. Oh, interesting. Okay. Bring it down. Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. So now he's got one pip on his health bar. So after this, he's going to have one more to get through. I feel like he's getting a little pissed at me. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Debilitations. Debilitations are negative statuses with effects that range from inflicting damage at steady intervals to making the target vulnerable vulnerable to a specific type of attack. So I'm wondering if it's going to call, hey, like, you know, you're drenched. I'm drenched. Ooh. Did he sort of break the dam a little bit? So I'm, obviously, we won. I also probably did not have much... Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Oh, so we've converted this guy to be a believer. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. It is your decision. Hoping Diane heals me here in a second. 
So I wonder if part of his death, like he broke the. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. And that broke. Uh, seemed like it broke like a flood of water. I clearly was not a part of bringing down the Cyclops. I was um, getting smacked around at the time. So apparently this is using the Capcom in-house engine called the RE engine. I guess first used maybe on like Resident Evil 7 or something like that. It's always been like the games made with them. I think Monster Hunter World, they're all good looking games. And it's nice to sort of see it advancing. As I've said, I've always had this interest in playing Monster Hunter World. I've just never gotten into it. I feel like it's one of those games that... Um, and this might be incorrect on my part. It feels like it might be one of those like lifestyle games where like a games as a service is like a Destiny 2 where you're always going in there and chipping away at a sort of grindy mechanic. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? I'm kind of tempted to try it just to see. I mean, we can always come back and explore. I'm just sort of curious what this new mechanic is. Uh yeah, Very let's well. do that. Board the ops cart and we'll be off. There's another forgotten rift stone here, so let me at least first do that. I've got a good feeling about this one. Over encumbered. Might there be aught over there? We ought to take a closer look. Rift stone of robustness. Okay, I'm looking for a fighter. Dante, you look good. I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I spy. Yeah, why not? Uh, I'm gonna hire for 31. That's fine. We're gonna swap out Ace, who's level 2. Been a good uh, run, Ace. That's okay. Give a gift. Yeah, why not? Uh, what gift could we give, though? All told, I'm rather satisfied with my performance. Okay. Delighted to meet you. Especially if we share a sweet tooth. Uh, okay. Okay, so we're going to hop on the ox cart and uh, see how the sort of in-game fast travel works. Again, totally new mechanic. <laughs> Maybe I uh, was a little rash to jump in there calling it fast travel. I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. So I wonder, can I... Oh, okay, you can doze off. That might kick in the fast travel. Um, let me see. Yeah, let me doze off. Stop it! What rotten luck! We need of your aid again, sir. Get up. Let me slow walk, because I am encumbered. Let me see if I can dump something. Average, uh, what can I give you, Diane? Give it to red. I'm still heavy though.
Uh, what else? I'm wearing those. Probably equip this. I feel like I ran. This is what I was running into before in the first game, where it must be the amount of potions I have. Let me give some of these to Diane's over. Well, you know what? Let's just go for it. Nice. Up to level nine. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? Yes. Into the ox cart then. This looks so that's the idea, I think, is that you can get Oh uh, no. <laughs> that's a nightmare. Uh you can get um Okay, I was going to say you can uh, get random encounters on the cards. Vernworth, capital of Vermund. face to us as the player would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, your majesty. Whoa. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Subterfuge. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when it was all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity.
The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. All right. Now, in the first game, like the Duke was like a former arisen, and there was another former arisen, like on a hillside. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we? Nice. Okay. Uh, but I don't remember how. That was handled. I was still the one and only. Regarding the oath, both Vermund and Batal regard the scourge of the dragon as a matter of the utmost priority. Should the baleful creature alight on the other side of the border, both nations are sworn to provide aid, as well to assist in the evacuation of the populace and with the scouting missions, as needed. In such an event, all troops are expected to put aside any disagreements of faith or culture and devote themselves wholeheartedly to their duty. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I really thought I remembered there being former, but then I don't know how that actually makes sense. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Consarn it! Get back here! Uh, <laughs> You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. Okay. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. That's not how being in my debt works, sir. Aha! There you are! Oh. Apologies, but our chat will have to wait till next we meet. Farewell. All right, and he's off. Seat of the Sovereign. You help the young man elude his pursuer. Okay. Three shards combined to form a wake stone. That's my third wake stone shard, I guess. Uh, so here I am in the city. See what my quests are. See to the sovereign. Visit the Star Drop in a night and confer with Captain Brandt. Uh, that might be the only thing I've got going on. Okay, so set as priority it is. Let's explore the city a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so out in the world, we were getting 70s, 80s. We dipped to 60 at one point. But mostly it was like in the 80s, 90s. Here we're getting 58. 56, 54, 48. Okay, so you're definitely, I'm definitely feeling it. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? So I get the complaints because if, you know, if this were suddenly dipping into like the 20s when I was getting 60 out in the world. Fascinating. Indeed. Though it is not widely known among the common folk. I wish someone had s Your pockets look full. Got all to spare. Uh, what I'm wondering, how do I... Quit staring. I don't appreciate it. Oh, give gift. How do I do that? Real head scratcher, this. So, my understanding, I think uh, Capcom's come out about 
what's going on. And they said something I read. I don't know if they're going to be able to address it in a patch soon or not, but um, it was said that when new NPCs get near the Arisen, like there's a huge CPU hit. So it would make sense that it suddenly there's a lot of NPCs in the area. That's quite enough. Okay. What should I do? What to do? What to do? I've no mother or father to speak of, you see. So the nice people at the Gracious Hand take care of me. I wanted to get them a present to say thank you. And I thought a bunch of flowers would be just the thing. Now the problem is, I can't seem to find any good ones. Do you think you could help me? All I need is a bunch of pretty flowers. For true. Thank you ever so much, Arisen. Uh, nobody said anything about Arisen. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find the prettiest flowers that ever were. Find a bunch of prow. Uh, let's set this as a priority quest since it's got a bit of time. I would fain aid you if you are in need. Letter fragment of the gracious hand. Do say you'll go and see her. She's your best hope. She used to conduct research into sedatives and sleeping medicants for the army or in Batal. So I'm certain she will. All right. This looks as good a place as any. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant that some salvation. It's poor people sleeping in the mud. I'm here taking all their stuff. So I will say this. Um, Stay away from. I like the idea of the more organic way you get quests. Like you talk to people. What do you think? Does this suit me? But I wish there was a way to tell, like, hey, this person has a quest, this person doesn't. I, I don't mind it being a little more obvious. What would you of me? Oh, I'll have no trouble, thank you. Well met. This here is the sanctuary of tipplers and merrymakers alike. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Yeah, I'll buy around. Impressive. <laughs> Make some friends, why not? Materials such as this can be... Well met. This here is the sanctuary of tipplers and merrymakers alike. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Keep those orders coming. This fearsome world of ours is best met with stiff drinks and cheery hearts, I say. Interested in my wares? Oh, what luck! Tis a chest! Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Okay, we're starting to get close to nightfall. Oh, you know what? Let me just check my quest log to see if that uh, flower one is timed. Doesn't seem to be. So I don't know there's so if, if if you're watching you see a little hand with a one. I think that maybe that means like it's a main story quest. 
But since we're getting close to night, I'm going to make that my main quest for now. Yeah, so 64, 65 frames a second out here. Fortunate some salvation. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? I really feel badly, but none of these people should know that I am the Arisen. That's the whole point, is that I was brought in here in secret. Many thanks. May fortunes... Okay. Yeah, so I just hit 46, 50, 31. So yeah, I could I could see why people would uh Greetings. We have trouble with this. You guidance, do you not? You have lost sight of your path, but I can point the way. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. May these words guide you true. Seek audience with Brant, who shall get, grant thee a task. You've my gratitude. If the way forward is shrouded to Okay, so she's sort of like a... Yeah, what was I supposed to be doing again? Give her 50 bucks, I guess, and she'll tell you. If the way forward is shrouded, it is lovely to see you. Okay. Take this. Tis something I found. So oracles. Oracles are useful allies in a chaotic world. Their guiding sight allows them to impart words of wisdom to the arisen, illuminating the path they ought to follow or revealing the course of action they should take next. If a quest has you at an impasse or if you've lost your way on your adventure, pay a visit to an oracle, oracle and you might receive a hint. Okay. I wanted you to have it. And uh, what, what is that red? Good evening, Arisen. Do we actually have to talk to do this? Where to next, Arisen? Okay. Port crystals. Here we go. Use of a fairy stone will instantly transport you to the location of a port crystal. Port crystals are permanent fixtures of cities and towns, but you may also place your own port crystals at destinations of your choice. This was part of the controversy at launch is that there were items you could pay money for. Um, the items were also available to earn in game, but if you just wanted a shortcut, they'd let you sort of pay to win a little bit. Port crystals were one of the items you could buy. You may have up to 10 port crystals placed at various locations throughout the world at any one time. Once placed, a port crystal can be recovered if you wish to move it. Uh, permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available at fairy stone destinations. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? So now oh, in the first game, excellent find. when the game first came out, fairy stones were like a limited resource. Where's this ladder? It's up there. But how to get up there? But then once you... um. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right. On but the once you got the expansion, Dark Arisen, they gave you like an infinite, like a single fairy stone that was good for infinite uses. I hope they sort of continue that. The port crystals, you know, were an interesting resource management. You know, like they said, you can only have 10. I think that's carried over from the first. But I don't want to have a thing where you have to then also like, oh, I have six fairy, crystal, fairy stones to go with the seven port. It's just like, oh, my God. Okay, just give me a fairy stone that lets me jump around. Uh, let's organize storage. Let's deposit some stuff, maybe. Rotten Scrag, I could probably get rid of that. Explorer's Camping Kit. Let's see if Diane's got anything that can be... Okay. 
Dale Cooper. What does he have that he can get rid of? Uh, let me see. Oh, okay. So you can, these are like spell books that like anybody can use. Uh, let me see a rare beetle that glitters like gold. Consuming it increases the weight one can carry by 0.15 kilograms. The reason's main pawn can also receive. Oh, is this like a permanent buff? Cause if so, I should be, <laughs> I should be taking advantage of that. Chopper horn. I'm going to put all these things in here that are crafting materials, hoping that, uh, I don't need to hold on to them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like the making of arrow, like again, like is this why I don't have exploding arrows? Because you have to like make like some kind of consumable resource. I'm still at a heavy weight though. So yeah, this, these camping kits are quite heavy. Hopefully like when I need to craft, it'll pull it from, uh, my deposited equipment. Oh well. Let's see if I can combine anything of use. Okay, so dried fruit and green wash will make the fruit roborant. Okay, so if I take wither branches and lantern oil, I can make a tarring arrow. An arrow that adheres to the target and explodes after a time if it's hacked. Tarring the target. Okay. It's, okay. Let's see if I have anything to withdraw that's of interest. I don't think so. Okay. I was hoping there was a way to... Only an unseasoned trader falters in trying times. You do stuff with my... Find me. My uh, vocation. But let's go... Uh, we gotta go talk to... Uh, was this the right spot, though? Shakir's in. Which one are we looking for? Star drop in. Okay.
So I'm getting like 46, 50. I mean, like, it's not terrible. But I am definitely feeling it. And I feel, you know, I'm one of the lucky ones, right? Like, star drop in. Like, if you were, like, running, like, a 3080 or something, like, you know, something that was beyond the, maybe even the recommended specs. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. All right. So I will say this, like this game is going right into Dragon's Dogma 2 had a l more story, I think, than people give it credit for. It just took a while to develop here. They're getting right into it. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. This is actually sort of how the first one worked too, right? You were talking to the Duke's men and he would just give you like basically three or four tasks. And then that advanced you to the next uh, inner circle of people that would give you three or four tasks. And that eventually got you to the end game. Uh, let's see. Let's monster Citizenry. calling. I've called upon my soldiers to call monsters that plague the land. I dare say. It would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermont. Off we go then. There are beasts to be slain. There is surely no challenge to which we cannot rise. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess check to see if any of them are time sensitive. Doesn't seem to be. Uh, let's see where the view, view details. So it seems like it's right across the bridge as a, at a material gathering spot. So let's um let's set this as a priority. I wish I knew. Welcome to the Star Drop In. So, okay. You know, and it's like, oh, like cat people, they can fuck right off is something I've been known to say a few times during the first part of this playthrough. This is the problem I have with, I don't know, this is going to be overthinking it, but this is, this is the thing, right? Like, why, if they're going to be cat people, like, let them be cat people. They don't need, like, double D knockers like this character here, like. You know, just like anthropomorphic animals, I, I just don't, um, I just don't understand. Like, you know, I, I yeah, I just don't understand. Like, they, 
They have human qualities that, um... We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of Vernworth. It's like, you know, everything about them is human except for their head. I guess that's the thing. Like, you know, like... They don't really... Like, they have five fingers. Like, again, like, they don't do anything that's... It's just like a head swap. I don't know how to get to... A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Uh, where do you see it? Let's see if we can upgrade some of our equipment. We got a little bit of cash on us. This ladder can take us to new... Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths. But then at the same time, you know, it's just like whatever. Like, it's a cosmetic. For, for the player character, like, who cares? But I guess... All right, let's see if we can get some increased defense. This will bump us up a bit, but it's 3,900. Okay, I've got 13,9 to work with. Anyway, it's, that's, you know, a rant about nonsense, because who cares? But um, Ranger's Vest. But, you know, it's just, it's, yeah. Okay, I wish, uh, does it tell me what's, so I'm going up in armor, it's not telling me how it compares in my, oh wait, no, does it tell me on the bottom? No. I was wondering if it would tell me, like, the, uh, weight difference. I feel like this ranger's vest is a good investment for the time being. Oh, I see, when you put it in your, Okay. And this is the armory. Um, oh, catch your eye. Just say the word. Maybe there's a better bow out there I could buy. Hope to see you again. Well, it is most exhilarating to hand over such a sum. We've a journey. To I've all it's like when all the aliens in Star time. Trek are basically humans with funny heads, right? And you're just like, okay. I get it on one level, but. All right, Hunter's Bow is going to bump us up a little bit. A Bespoke Bow would bump us up even... Ooh, I can't afford that, though. Okay, now there is literally an exclamation point right above me, and I don't know, or right next to me, and I don't know why. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. From tents to blankets, chairs to cooking pots, our camping kits have aught you need for trips near and far. You'll not want to go anywhere without one. So, might as well take a look while you're here, eh? I like that she's flanking him like we're about to rough him up. 
Okay. Uh, Fairy Stone. Again, if they're going to charge us 10 grand, okay. Oh, let's check out, okay, Mundane Camping Kit. Equipped to serve basic needs. Let's see with the grass patterns. Um, it's a little bit better. Probably will help avoid ambushes. That's cool. Explorer. Lighter weight. Cool. Okay, I like that. Whoa, courtly breaches, 150 grand. <laughs> they don't do much. It's like the armor's worse. But I could spend 150 grand on them. Oh, I see. But uh, none save the most ill-mannered boar would dare enter. So maybe we're going to need to get them at some point to like disguise ourselves and go in the castle. Okay. Business could be better, but I've weathered worse. Many thanks. I really need to figure out what could yon chest be hiding. I must know. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. I needed to eat that beetle. Nice. Okay. I guess if you could find multiple ones of those around the world, that could be a nice perk. Pawn guild. Okay. Now, I wonder if it matters that these are much bigger than... Go on, have a look. Okay. Okay, again, if I wanted to change how I looked. Disciple Spectacles. So it looks like these are just uh, cosmetics that I could buy in-game. Amber rimmed glasses. Monocle, always a classy move. Gold's made to be spent. Many thanks. Go on, have a look. There we go. Okay. Grand Riftstone of Vermund. Oh, well. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I apologize for this. Like, uh, I think I said this in the first game. Like, the game just sort of... Oh, what's that? Seems there's an illness pawns can catch beyond the rift that has devastating consequences for those around them. Worse still, the pawn never knows they're sick. They just become restless and flippant and won't heed the arisen. Oh, you know, that's... We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. That's actually not that anybody watches these, but that is something that's very important to know. Um, there's a sickness that they get that they just refer to. It might be called Dragon's Bane or something like that. And what I've been, what I read is that what happens is when one of your pawns has it, you'll get like a tool tip, like we've been getting for other things, explaining it. Uh, and then if you get it, though, you do not want to rest at an inn. Because if you rest in an inn when one of your pawns has that disease, it might kill everybody in the town or city. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? So... You don't want to do that. <laughs> um, 
I don't know how you, I guess maybe you just dismiss the pawn or something, but the idea that I've been told is that you will be warned you, you have, you know, it'll say like, you know, hey, what to do with Dragon's Bane? You should do this. That means somebody's got it. And if somebody's got it, do not rest it in an inn. So looking at 59, 60, 64. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here. Old 66, 68. No harm in picking a few. So yeah, as soon as we leave the city, we're back above 60, 80. You know, we're getting some pretty healthy frame rates. So And again, like, you know, in my dream world, I'd be doing 4K 60. I know a lot of people want, like, 120 is the minimum. I, I, I get that. Uh, I play at 1440p to try and help. If we ought to break it, it shan't be from this side. True enough. Okay, I gotta know what these exclamation points are. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Maybe if I were smaller, I could get through that window. Okay, opening locked doors, view tutorial logbook, okay. Uh, there are some doors that can be interacted with but cannot be opened by keys or mechanisms. These can merely be a matter of timing, and you may find that such doors will open at a particular time of day or once you have progressed to a certain point in the story. Take note of any intriguing doors you encounter and try to revisit them again at a later time. Okay. Yeah, I still don't know what that exclamation point is, though. Can't wait to find out what's inside. Haven't you a lantern arisen? Oop, yep. You're right. So what do we got going over there? See, this is stupid. Like, I don't want to be doing this at uh, at night. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go back. Hang in there, master. I'm coming to assist. Oh. <laughs> back to humiliating myself. Yep. I get it. In the event of a monster attack upon the city, citizens are advised to flee the vicinity and take refuge in a safe location. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so what I was saying is like, um, when I got to the first game, you get to the city, you sort of end up, and this is, I was saying this, you know, like any city, you know, Baldur's Gate, the computer role-playing game, they all sort of just kind of stop as you run around the city, collect goods. Oh, what luck. Tis a chest. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Maybe pick up side quests, et cetera, et cetera, but, um... Mostly what I'd really like is to be able to 
crash for the night and deal with my vocation. I feel like I've earned a couple of ranks. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discovery. Okay, so they said there's a ladder here, and then the exclamation point popped up on my... So maybe when they call something out, that's what it is? So I feel like we're meant to be... Oh, there's the ladder. Okay. How we doing, Dante? Nope. <laughs> Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? You're all right. I've got you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this was something I enjoyed in the first one, these sort of like navigational puzzles. So you can jump here. Nope. Oh my goodness. Nope. <laughs> Thanks, Red. <laughs> Need anything? I fall gentle into your awaiting arms. Nope. Oh, there we go. Take this. Tis something I found. I wanted you to have it. Okay, uh, let's dash and then jump. Okay, well, seems like we could get up there. Maybe I could learn double jumps if I um, could advance my vocation. Okay, this is very clumsy. Um... Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That medicine in Melv. There she is. I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other, for all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen. Tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? Nice, okay. Welcome and well met. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'll knock a few gold pieces off or to you buy. So spend away, my good sir. <laughs> yeah, the more I spend, the more I save, right, sir? In my line of business, patience is key. See, ornate box. Um, can hold something small inside its internal compartment. That's the only interesting thing is the ornate box. Um, okay, well. I don't know. I'm going to hold off for now. Always a pleasure. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. I wish I knew your restraint arisen. <laughs> I only work when I fancy, but I get by. You and me both, brother. Yeah, I always get nervous with um, big city because I'm just like, oh, now I got to actually like learn it. You know, it's um, so. I feel like what I'm seeing here is it looks like the double dagger. So I'm wondering if that's the vocation guild. Okay, maybe 
all vocations. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Okay, let's see what we can. So what? Uh, okay, one secret tone token gets you a fairy stone. Uh, two hundred gets you a ring of endeavor. Slightly boost discipline gain for defeating foes. You know they had a ring like that in the first game that you could get pretty. I think on the bitter black isle and like the end game content. So I feel like here they're making you know they don't have that kind of. Expansion yet, but they're making it so like you have to find because I think there's only 240 in the whole game, so you have to get most of them to pick that up. Uh, okay, it's pretty good armor. But yeah, fairy stones. Um. Okay, let's see what we got. We've got 1915 for points. So let's uh let's look at exploding shot to see what I'm doing wrong. Fire is a loaded arrow that adheres to foes. Um So I guess I got to figure out what a loaded arrow is. Okay, tar uh, tarring shot. I mean, so now So I guess that's the thing. I, you know, I can leaping punt, parting shot, swift knock. Definitely want that. Now I wonder is there is there a reason why I would? I guess leaping punt gets more distance. Parting shot. Now that creates a lot of distance too. Like the question is, why would you get leaping punt instead of just parting shot? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, what else can we get? Weapon skill. Augments. Pick this one up. Why not? Get some passives going. Uh, I've still got 965. I'll pick up Dire Arrow. And then I'll get Keen Sight. I guess uh, I'll get Tarring Shot, even though I'm not dying to do anything with it. Let's um see what her core skills are. Focus Bolt, Quick Spell, Levitate. Now that might be more useful if I were the, the mage. I don't know what it's going to do for an NPC, but let's get Focus Bolt. Let's get Quick Spell, Augments, uh, Magic Defense. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, keep Vocation. Let's see what else we got. This is like a healing. Uh, we're going to get the boons, but I'm just not going to equip them, I think. What do we got? 860. Okay. Forgive me. But I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Oh, interesting. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? I like that. So in order to advance to the certain higher level vocations, like sorcerer or the advanced fighting one, 
You actually have to do a quest. I like that. Certain vocations are unavailable at present. Let me see. What else can I tell you about? Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen ship. I like that. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. We should begin by asking ourselves, where is it? And how can we get it? <laughs> yes, we should. Speak to the local armor. Okay, you know what? I'm going to... Let, let's pause this session for now. I'll see if I can jump back to it, but if not, I'll put this up. Um, you know what? No, let's let's call this a session. It's a little bit short, but uh, we'll pick this up next time. Try and do the quest, get the flowers, wait till daytime, uh, head out into the world, etc., etc. So, yeah, again, thanks again. I know this was a little bit of a slower session as we sort of figured out what we're doing. Uh, but this is Black Lodge Trivia Night. We're mostly an actual play RPG podcast. We have RPG discussion topics as well. If you prefer audio versions of those things in particular, just search for Black Lodge Trivia Night wherever you get your podcasts. We should show up. Uh, you know, rate us, review us if you want, where you get your podcasts. If you're watching this, you've already found our YouTube channel, so please like and subscribe if you want. You can join us on our Discord. If you want to chat about uh, tabletop RPGs or computer role-playing games, but regardless, we, we really appreciate it. So thank you again to everybody who's checked your stuff out, subscribe, etc. And uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll be back soon to have my Not all chests contain pawns treasure, you know. pillage the whole town. So thanks again and uh, take care. Bye-bye.